Okay, so now this one's a no-go for a lot of people. I know a lot of people don't believe in God or, or in praying. Um, so you get people that are more external in things. So what you do is you'd probably go out somewhere to pray or you'd um, uh, say some sort of uh, a mantra or something. And that's all external, which is fine. Uh, but there's internal as well. So, you know, you don't have to go pray. Um, I don't pray, uh, but I do work on my internal. So internal would be like, meditation and so forth um you can still use mantras in that as well which i do but for me religion or praying or believing in god is more of an internal thing so it's totally up to you you can either do an external thing that will help you access spirituality um and do things external uh from yourself uh, or you can do an internal thing where you're doing meditation exercises uh, of some sort. So I know with prayer, I've done it in the past before and I know it, it used to help me in terms of, you know that person that never told me everything's going to be alright. I feel everything will be alright because like there is a God and like he'll look after me or whatsoever. whatsoever. So I would think that okay, he's there so it's fine but yeah again, if you're not into God, that's totally fine. Um, but Meditation isn't always about God. Now that's, that, now that's the internal things that, which I obviously do um, a lot of the times. Um, say, grinding, say, let's say grinding yourself in the moment. Now, a lot of the times, what I've learned is that you need to give yourself location, okay? Now, this doesn't mean, you know, you're, uh, because you're addicted to something or, you know, you're, you've got anxiety or depression and you're moving from time, from, from time to time, no. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Even when I'm doing my work, if I'm sitting on my desk or if I'm somewhere, I can't sometimes stay in that moment and I probably be thinking about something else and not enjoying where I am or not giving my full attention to somebody that I'm with. And sometimes grounding yourself helps. Yes, it does help with substances in terms of addiction and it does help with anxiety and depression. But just on a day-to-day -day basis, if you're not even suffering through that, you need to be present at times and when you're present you enjoy the thing more and um, you would know what you're kind of doing you know, not waste that much time on it you'd know what you're doing you'd focus on it more uh, you probably won't make any mistakes so sometimes grounding yourself is bad and i'll tell you how to ground yourself it's really simple what i used to do what i kind of still do is i give myself a location so I know a lot of people, they do the exercise where they feel the floor, they feel their legs, they know where they are and so forth and come back into the present moment. Uh, what I've always learned and done was I'd give myself a location. So that would be like telling myself where I am. So I'd tell myself, OK, I'm in England. I'm in England. I'm in the West Midlands. I'm in Warsaw. Um, this is around in Warsaw, so you're going more, you're coming out of kind of the world and coming into the world. Um, and then I'd give maybe my street name, maybe which room I'm in, um, who's around me, what's around me, and so forth. Maybe then, yeah, coming back to the floor, the chair that I'm sitting on. Um, so that would give me location and I'd back and it, <laughs> initially, yes, it would take you a long time to do, but once you get the hang of it, you know, it'll be instantly, uh, this is my location, this is where I am, because you've done it so many times now that you can just locate yourself straight away. A bit like a GPS locator, but it's worked. It's worked for me. If it works for you, try it out and tell me in the comments down below. Another meditation technique is on what we can hear, feel, smell around us. That will put us into the present moment as well. So that's something that you can try. I've never tried it myself, but I know a lot of people that have and I know that it works so you can try that as well another thing that my mother taught me many many years ago when I was when I was a kid um, and that would be tensing each muscle part and then releasing it um, I think I learned this when I was about 10 years old when I used to do meditation with my mom uh, so you tense it you relax it you tense it you relax it tense it relax it with my mom it used to be like have this sense of God going around in your body. That was back then, um, but you don't need to do none of that. Um, all you gotta do is sit there, think of your muscle that you wanna tense. Tense it, and then for a bit, five seconds, untense it. That way you're just relaxing your 
your whole body because what you're doing is obviously with these with the substances um they're messing with your nervous system they're making it slow down a bit making you feel more relaxed so when you're doing these muscle exercises when you need to initially it'll be hard when you get used to it there'll be nothing for you nothing to you and you know uh, you do it naturally you do it often um it makes you feel better it makes you feel more relaxed so that's another coping thing that you can do when you're trying to stop any sort of addiction <laughs>